What's up guys, it's V, and welcome back to Danganronpa. So, we are about to go to the beach, and I'm gonna be real with you guys, I had the next two seconds spoiled for me, literally just two seconds, something is about to happen. I have no idea what's about to happen, but I know something's about to happen as soon as we hit this beach, and I gotta see what it's gonna be. So, uh, let's go. Ding dong, dong ding. Huh? That bell just now. Could it be? Uh, I'm hoping it's not what I think it is. A body has been no. discovered. <sighs> I was hoping it was something else. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. It's so sudden. We, wait, it wasn't us. A body? That's a lie, impossible. Yeah, who discovered this body? Someone. What? Who was that? Someone come here! Oh, it's Kazuichi! Oh no. That was definitely Kazuichi's voice. It sounds like he's nearby. Where is he? Now we have to go find him. Wait, can we go in through here? Did that scream just come from here? Cautiously, I reached my hand towards the doorknob. As I twisted the doorknob and tried to open the door. It won't open. Okay. It's locked, but no, this is different. It's like something's blocking the door from the other side. What does this mean? So we gotta go around to the other side. Let's go. Who, who all is in here? Kazuichi screamed. Did I really hear it coming from in here? No, what am I being nervous about? Well, Monokuma just said there's a body. There's no reason for me to be nervous. A body discovery announcement? I won't believe it. I'm not going to believe it. There's just no way I'll believe it. Who would believe something like that? Will you just go? As I raised my voice, I swiftly stepped inside the beach house. I won't believe it. The moment I stepped inside the beach house, those words mercilessly shattered into pieces. Who is it? A baseball bat? Oh no, my... What is that? What was... What is that? Who beat her? No, this was all a dream. When did I, when did I begin dreaming? This is a nightmare. This is not a dream. This is reality. Why is my hero on the floor covered in blood? Oh no! I couldn't understand anything that was in front of me, and I couldn't believe in anything. I'm kind of creeped out by that. Is it a mask? Chapter two. Oh. Why Mahiru? She was nice, kind of. She was nice to the girls. Mahiru Koizumi, the ultimate photographer. Oh, look at that smile. She had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. And she was always straightforward. Toward us and toward herself, she was always facing forward. She was that kind of person. Why her? Why Mahiru? Why? Why did this happen to her? The muscles in my face stiffened and grew hard. Darkness clouded my vision. My legs started to wobble and I instinctively placed my hand against the wall. Damn it! Hey, Hajime. Before this, we were having a great time, right? We were excited about to go to the beach. We were having a lot of fun. But why? Are you kidding Why me? did something like this happen? Someone tell me. I would like to know too. Who beat her with a bat? I obviously don't know what's going on either. Oh! Huh? Um. Um. 
<laughs> oh no, foaming at the mouth. Now's not the time to make bubbles. Hurry and get the others. Wait, so who all saw her? Because you guys know there needs to be three people. Ibuki instantly left the beach house. I'm sure that it took some time for everyone else to come here. They had to change and whatnot. It must have taken some time. But I didn't really know how much time had passed. My senses were numbed. My emotions were also numbed. Within me, various layers were peeling off. My senses started to return around the time I realized that the others were already here. Huh? What the hell is this? <laughs> Why? My hero? The girls were standing outside the door leading to the beach, their faces pale with terror. Something like this? For heaven's sake, what in the world is going on? With their pale faces still intact, the girls began wobbling towards the beach house until the voice stopped them. Hold it. Uh, hold on a sec. Hmm. Those things beneath you, be careful not to step on them. What? Beneath? See? You know, the footprints in front of that door. There are footprints leading out of the beach house, right? That's probably an important clue. So don't step on them. Huh? If you mean evidence... Yep evidence. Monokuma mentioned it in the announcement, right? After a certain amount of time, we'll hold a class trial. What the? Another class trial? You serious? Then are you saying this is... That's right! That's right! One of you guys killed her! Oh, lies! Killed? That's impossible. Hey, hey! It's not like an accident or something. Like... If you guys think that's an accident, that means this death was caused by someone else's actions, right? Yeah, so that's still... In other words... Still a murder, even if it was an accident. That also counts as a legitimate murder. Though such deaths fall into a gray area, on this island, I will make sure it's clear to you guys. On this island, dying from sickness is basically the only death that's not considered a murder. <laughs> well, it's impossible to get sick and die on this island. Not when Monami takes such good care of people. And there's Monami, yes. What's this? Oh, speaking of which. Why are you so s Oh, she's upset. I don't like this. There it is. The silent treatment attack. This is like the number one thing that hurts me. Well, fine. I'm not gonna lose to your bashing. I've decided to become a tough kid. <laughs> this is the worst. Once again, this horrible nightmare. Another victim. And it's all because of Monokuma. Yes, no, Monokuma did. did it. Jeez, it's not my fault. Yes, it is. Huh? Then whose fault is it, you ask? Yeah! To find out, we hold the class trial! So... So, let's begin already. No whining, just begin already. It's the, the Monokuma, Monokuma file! file. Uh, I don't want this file. Do your best. Now then, do your very best to investigate. I'll see you later at the class trial. <laughs> Class trial investigation. This is horrible. It's just too horrible. I agree, Monami. This is awful. Then you should have stopped the murder before it occurred. Well, yeah, but that's not the rules of the island. Don't you have that kind of power? <laughs> that... I did have the power before he appeared. Perhaps. Even if she tried to stop it. Judging from Monokuma and Monami's relationship, there's no doubt she'd get stopped herself. True. <laughs> yes, Monokuma took everything away, including the magic stick and the surveillance cameras. The only thing I can rely on are these ears. 
but they can only hear about three times that of a normal person. So basically... So basically, you have no idea what's happening on this island in the first place. <laughs> I'm just the worst. A powerless rabbit like me is the worst. Aw, oh, poor Monami. I go back and forth between feeling bad for her. Hey, now's not the time to focus on something like that. More importantly, what should we do? <laughs> do we have to do it again? Yes, yes we do. We have to investigate. <sighs> that cruel thing. We have to do it again? Why? I cannot believe it. My hero was killed by one of us. Damn it! Yeah, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Investigating the class trial? Seriously, I'm done. Everyone feels the same, but we can't do anything else except to do it. And there's no way we can just ignore the reason Mahiru was killed. Hey. Yeah, the only thing we can do is investigate. Because it's bad. Because we should never forgive that. Killing is something we should never forgive. Chiaki. Well? The killer has their reasons. I understand that. It was the same for Teru Teru, too. It's really all Monokuma's fault. I understand that, too. But even so, Fine. we should never I'll forgive never allow it. killing. Mahiru? Not Mahiru. I'm thinking about my hero sitting there on the floor over there. Chiaki is here with the with the realness. She usually has her head in the clouds, so for her to say something like that, she probably can't forgive this at all. But that's true of me too. Understood. Regardless, everyone is going to die if we don't do it. In order for us all to survive, we must do it. I'm gonna do it! Then let's do this! A little Perhaps. too, a little too pumped for it, just a little bit. Mahiru probably wants us to do this too. She would want us to reveal the truth behind her death. <laughs> I understand. If everyone's doing it, I will do it too. But, but please give me a little time. Please give me time to calm myself down a little. Of course, Mikan, take some time. Also, I will go and tell the others who aren't here about this. You're right. If all you heard was the announcement, you won't know where the murder took place. <laughs> I shall excuse myself for now. Hey. Then, let's begin. Who killed Mahiro Kozumi? Why was she killed? <laughs> we gotta find out and solve this already. That's right. We have to do it. It's the only way. I don't want to do this, but that's more the reason for us to finish this. I'm the only one who can do this. Well, you're not the only one. Oh boy, guys. Let's take a look at the Monkuma file. She's 5'4", 101 pounds. The victim is Mahiru Koizumi. Estimated time of death is around 3 p.m. The scene of the crime where the body was discovered is inside the beach house at Chandler Beach. The cause of death is a single killing blow to the head with a blunt instrument. A single though? I mean, look at all that blood. There are no other conspic conspicuous external bleh, conspicuous external in injuries and no trace of foreign substances such as drugs. Around 3 p.m., that's the time Kazuichi and I arrived at the diner. Then, if we had just gone to the beach house instead... No, nope, now's not the time to feel regret. I need to focus on doing as much as I can right now. Yeah, because you wouldn't have known. Like, you had the plan and, you know, it's unfortunate that this happened. But you can't do the coulda, shoulda, woulda. And then I'm going to find out the truth behind Mahiru's death. That's the only way the rest of us can survive. So we've got a truth bullet. Monokuma file number two. 
Okay, this is gonna be a long episode, guys, because I want to get as much of this in. I don't even know what to think. First of all, I want to know who who all saw her because it takes three people to find the dead body for the Monokuma announcement to go off. And we know we saw Hiyoko and we saw Kazuichi. So who was that other person? Maybe it was Fuyu. But um, let's go ahead and take a look at the trash can. Maybe there's a clue inside this trash can. That's what I thought, but hmm, a bunch of empty plastic bottles. Nothing that looks like a clue. Guess it's not that easy, huh? Okay. Then refrigerator. There's a lot of drinks inside the refrigerator, but compared to last time, I feel like there's less drinks. Did people take a lot of drinks from here? Not only that, the drinks left here either look sweetened or colored. So the good stuff. They look unhealthy. <laughs> Um, is this- oh, is the closet open? The closet door is half open. The last time I came here, that wasn't the case. That's a little suspicious. I should probably investigate inside here, too. Oh, we actually get to go inside this time. Okay, what's in the closet? This is a pretty spacious walk-in closet. But there's so much crap on the shelves and floor. Only one person could stand in here. But if you think about it this way, it means it's possible for only one person to stay in here. Oh, I see you! I've been found! Got another one. I'll take it. Um, we've got shelves. Flotation devices, snorkels, nets. There's also some paint supplies, too. Hmm, there's not much else that could be related to the incident. Okay. What is that? A gummy? Hmm, there's something on the floor. This yellow thing is a gummy candy. Finding candy on the floor in a place like this is clearly unnatural. I know who eats candy, though. Hmm, <laughs> If it's connected to the incident, did someone drop this when they were inside the closet? What's Hiyoko doing in the closet? And then we've got this. There's a lot of stuff jammed onto the shelves, even surfboards and a surfboard case. But they're not put away properly at all. Two boards are stuffed onto one shelf, and some boards have been left out instead of being put in the case. And there's also an empty surfboard case as well. Jeez, how careless. Um, I guess there's everything inside the closet. Then let us go. Uh, okay. Whoa. <laughs> That's a lot. Let's let's take a look at her body. She's lost all life in her body. It's as if She's a shell. Is this really the energetic Mahiru I knew? I see her laying in front of me, but I still can't believe it. I can't connect this lifeless body to the high-spirited Mahiru. But we don't have time to wallow in sentiment. There's no way I can just stand here. I slapped both my hands onto my cheeks and faced Mahiru's body one more time. Mahiru is leaning against the beach house door that leads to the road. That's why we couldn't get in. If she leaned into the door like this, it would have been impossible to open. Maybe Mahiru tried to run away when she was attacked and tried to crawl to the door. Hmm. Evidence can be seen in the blood stains on the floor. They're streaked as if she was crawling through them. Ah. So she used all her energy to crawl away, leaning against the door and took her last breath. That's so sad. Oh. For someone as headstrong as her to run, she must have really felt desperate. I don't want to think about that. Ugh. Uh, so it is a mask. Hmm. 
What's this? Is this a mask? It's creepy is what it is. Did someone bring this from the toy section of the supermarket? Or maybe party goods. Regardless, why is this even here? Could it be? Did the killer wear that to conceal their face? No, they totally stand out. I mean, it's such a gaudy mask. Um. A gaudy mask? Huh? Ah, that mask! You've seen this? Sunwitch Esperito. I'm assuming she's saying that, but I can't sing, so. It's a super fun anime with a viewership surpassing 90% in my country. You watch anime? <laughs> An anime that has a viewership of over 90%. Is Sonya's country really alright? It cannot be. Could it be? Was that mask placed next to the body? Yeah, it was. If that is true, could it be? Could it be what? I am sorry! Um, please give me some time. What? No, I want to know what, what you're freaking out about. For reasons unknown, Sonya rushed out of the beach house. What's with her? It appears. It looks like she knows something. If that's the case, I shall wait until she decides to talk about it. Hmm, for Sonya to be so worked up, it must be something big. I wonder what she knows. Yeah, it, it must be something big. Pretty anime girl mask. Pretty. Creepy is what you should be calling it. Shower room? So this is the shower room. There's a notice on the door. Judging from the illustration, it looks like it's being repaired or under construction. Something like that. <laughs> That's right! The shower's being repaired, so water won't come out. But what about hot water? Well, that's impossible too. If the shower's out of order, then isn't it just a waste of waste of space? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> just when I was planning to fix it, my magic stick was taken from me. So I never got around to fixing it. What the heck? What does your magic stick have to do with repair? Well, obviously she used her magic stick to fix it. Keep up, Hajime. You're so evil! Anyways, it's all Monokuma's fault. Everything is all Monokuma's fault. Whoa. Whoa. Your doubtful eyes are telling me you think I'm Monokuma's accomplice. Well, yeah. You must have read my mind. <laughs> think what you want of me. I've already given up. Got it? But let me tell you this one more time. As long as you guys work together, you should be able to stand against any kind of despair. I promise I will help with that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Whatever, Monami. Anyway, it looks like the shower door is definitely out of order. But I guess I should check inside too. Shower room. Um... There's just so much... Oh, I forgot about the metal bat. According to the Monokuma file, the fatal blow was dealt to Mahiru with a blunt object. That blunt object is this metal bat, right? Hmm. Huh. This metal bat? Yep. It's the same as the Twilight Syndrome murder case. Huh? Well... There's a girl named Girl E who was killed in the game during the fourth day. So, she played it. Oh, it is! Wow, I didn't even think about that. That girl was killed with a blow from a metal bat, just like Mahiru. Hey, hey. Did you, did you also play that game, Hajime? Is that why you're curious about that metal bat? Yeah, that's exactly it, but... Did you play it too? Oh, obviously. She knows the plot. It's time to put on the kitty, hell it, kitty hood. Then, I'm sure you know this, but... The case this time is strongly connected to Twilight Syndrome murder case. I think. In order to solve the mystery behind Mahiru's death, 
you probably need to solve that game's mystery too. Man, we're gonna have to play that some more. But even if you solve the game's mystery, all the clues in it were lousy and useless. I mean, it started ambiguously, and it was still ambiguous when it ended. That's wrong. That's because you haven't beaten the game. Beaten? I finished the game with the game over. Were you able, but were you able to beat it? Mm. Mm, I'm not some girl gamer who talks about v video games she's never beaten. Well, yeah, if anybody's gonna beat the game, it would be Chiaki. So what am I supposed to do to actually beat the game? I can't stop thinking about that for some reason. But for now, I should focus on this investigation. Clearly, that's part of the investigation. So it's okay to say that this metal bat is absolutely the murder weapon, right? That's what you would think. Uh, I will never forgive killing. Hmm. However, Chiaki seemed quite different from her usual self. She must feel very strongly about killing. That, it's not just Chiaki. There's no way anyone would forgive something like this. I guess you're right. What about you? How you doing, Kazuyuki? Hmm, hmm, that's weird. What do you mean? Uh, well, I wanted to calm myself a little, so I thought about getting a drink from that refrigerator. When I opened it a few days ago, I'm pretty sure there was a large variety of drinks. Man. Well, I guess I'm just imagining things. I mean, who cares about drinks right now, huh? What are you talking about? Seriously, it's okay. I've resolved it on my own, so just drop it. What the heck? You startled it. You started it. No, but he's got- he's onto something. Why would someone go in there and take all the healthy drinks? Um... I- I can't even figure out what I haven't clicked on yet. Okay, a blood stain. There's blood stains on the floor, and they're streaked as if she crawled through them. They're probably streaked from when Mahiru tried to run away during the attack. So she used all her energy to crawl away and took her last breath as she was leaning against the door. Are you still foaming? <laughs> yes, she is. Mahiru, 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 Mahiru. This is too weird. Something this weird should only happen in song lyrics. I. Okay, we went to the closet. Suspicious. Suspicious? Did you find some kind of clue? See? You know the footprints from earlier. They were in front of the entrance facing the beach, right? Oh, that. Well? Hajime and Kazuichi's footprints show that you guys were the first ones to go inside the beach house. But these footprints are just the opposite. They're coming out of the beach house. Hey. Now that you mention it, I thought those footprints were strange too. You did? Uh. At first, I tried to go into the beach house from the door facing the road, but it didn't open, so I went around and tried to go in from the beach side door. You couldn't go inside from the roadside door because Mahiru's body was blocking it, right? Hmm. And that's when I noticed those footprints. The footprints leading from the beach house to the tunnel look like they belong to one person. Someone's footprints leading out of the beach house, huh? That's definitely suspicious. Huh? Now that you mention it, Peko says she went for a little swim, right? Could those footprints be? Well... Unfortunately, I went swimming to scout the first beach. I do not know anything about this beach, so she was on that first island. She wasn't on this island. Maybe... Is that really true? But still... But these footprints lead straight from the beach house to the tunnel. Since I was swimming at the beach, of course my footprints would lead from the shore to the tunnel. Then whose footprints are these? These are Hiyoko's footprints, aren't they? It appears. It's no mistake that these are the killer's footprints, but I have no clue who that might be. Well, for now, 
It's obvious that this is a clue, don't you think? Yes, it's probably an extremely important clue. Okay, so we've got the footprints. But man, I'm, str I'm really struggling to figure out everything in here. Oh, how about the beach side door? No? Okay. Okay, we looked at the trash, we looked at that. Talked to Pecco. We went in the closet. Um, the plant. We looked at her body. What's left? The door? My hero was leaning against this door, so I couldn't open it. I can't figure out what's left in here. Okay, yeah. I remember he said that he had to go check the shower room. This is a really nice, really spacious shower room. If it's this huge, you could also use it as a dressing room. But changing in the beach house is forbidden. Jeez, what an unreasonable rule. Okay, so we've got the toilet. There's a toilet, but you really can't use it as a step stool. Why would you want to? We've got a cane. Damn it. Hmm, guess no one's in here. I was thinking the killer was hiding in here after they failed to escape. It wouldn't be that easy. Of course not. We've got a window. There's a window. It's small, but maybe you can crawl out of it somehow. Well, it probably doesn't mean anything if someone can crawl through it. But I can't seem to take my mind off of it. However, the ceiling's really high, so that window's also situated in a very high place. It's so high that even if I stretch out my hand, I can't reach it. It's probably about nine feet up. And not just that, it's an iron barred window. If that's the case, yep, it'd be impossible to go in and out through there. What? What? Are you still thinking about that window? Yeah, I was thinking the killer might have escaped through there. Leave it to me! Alright, I got it. I'll pitch in and help you out. Huh? Now then. Come on, give me a piggyback ride. I'll check the window for you. Pitch in and help? It feels like I'm the one who's pitching in and helping. I'll pick you up! If you don't hurry up, I'll punch you. Well, you better do what she says. She's really into this. No matter what I say, it's not gonna matter. Fine, I'll just leave it to you. Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. My panties are clean. Uh, pretty sure that wasn't what he was thinking. Uh, I see. That's good. <laughs> good for you. I let out a deep sigh and then bent over the bent over under the window. Alright. As she shouted, Akane jumped onto my shoulders. Ugh. <laughs> Is she heavy? <laughs> Oh, you're so weak, Hajime. You had to do some benching or something. Hey! Your balance sucks! Make sure your stance is wider! Mm hmm, mm hmm. Y you. You're a lot heavier than I expected. Rude? Yeah, because I'm so buff. Like, every time I get a massage, they tell me I'm just a mass of muscle. <laughs> a massage, huh? Do you have a trainer or something since you're Hi, the Jimmy. ultimate gymnast? That's not the point right now. Why you- Nah, I don't have a trainer. My stepmom's lovers like to get drunk and give me full body massages. That's creepy and, um, not good. I shouldn't have asked. Yeah, you really shouldn't have asked. That's not the point right now. So, how's the window? Let's see. Hmm. I see, I see. So that's what happened. What happened? Did you find anything? Well, since there's this iron bar, I was pretty sure no one would be able to get through the window. But check it out. Check what out? Ch check it out? Hold on. I'll give it a try. Yeah, honestly, she should have been the one giving him a boost. With the cane on my shoulders, I craned my neck so high that I started to worry. Oh. 
This iron bar ain't even pinned down. Looks like you can open and close it pretty easy. Well, that explains where the killer went. See? My head can fit through, no problem. Then, it's not impossible to go in and out of that window? Yep, yep. <laughs> oh, okay. That's an important clue there. Akane jumped off my shoulders and flashed a wide grin. <laughs> Isn't this a big discovery? But the problem is, how are they able to you, how are they able to reach that window? Hmm. Hmm, even if I jump, I can't really reach it. And she's the ultimate gymnast, so she would have a really high jump. <laughs> but if two people work together like us, it wouldn't be a problem, right? If that's the case, it would mean the killer had an accomplice. Ooh, that would make it juicy. Huh? Accomplice? Sounds like a big word. Is that the name of a kung fu master? <laughs> but even if there was an accomplice, the person acting as the step stool would still be inside. True. Like. But if you really think about it, just one person could get out of here without help, right? Hmm, really? So... The footprints? Yeah, like... I got it. A freaking ninja could do it, you know? A ninja can climb fences and walls no problem, right? What? <laughs> Just as I thought, it looks difficult to go in and out through that window. Why? What the heck? I even took the time to lend you my wisdom. You pissed me You're off. You're the one who said it was suspicious, so I took the time to pinch in and help. You... It was such a waste of time to help you out. All you saw were my panties. Nobody cares about your panties, girl. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, well, it's not like it's the end of the world. I'm telling you, I didn't look at them. <laughs> the iron barred window. So these bars are fake. <laughs> I guess that's pretty much everything I noticed in the shower room. Um, I guess I finished investigating all I can. Yeah, that was the last thing I needed for the beach house. But there's still not enough. Just from the clues here, I don't think I have enough to find the truth. Looks like I should try investigating that again to find out why my hero got killed. Twilight Syndrome murder case. Yeah, we gotta play it again. Girl E was killed in that game by a single blow from a metal bat. Metal bat. That's the same weapon that was used to kill Mahiru. That, there's no way that's just a coincidence, right? Actually, in truth, this game's theme is a missing link. You know, it's a reoccurring theme for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. A missing link. If that's the killer's motive for, for killing this time then that mystery must be hidden inside the game. Plus, the person who might know about that mystery is standing right next to me. Chiaki. I should ask her about it. We're supposed to play it and find out for ourselves. All right, let's leave the shower room. That is a nice shower room, though. All right, Chiaki. Hey Chiaki, I have something I want to ask you. Are you okay right now? Um, Are you done investigating here already? Huh, I think I've investigated, I've finished investigating once through. Yep. Then let's go. Go? So... You want to know about Twilight Syndrome, right? Then I think you should actually play it yourself. See, told you. Let's go. So, let's go. Yeah, you're right. With Chiaki leading, I left the beach house and headed over to Jabberwock Park where the unsettling arcade game was placed. But I never, I never expected that person to be waiting there. Is it Fuyu? No, it's Nagito! Hello there. Whoa. Why, hello there, Hajime and Chiaki. I'm glad you guys are doing well. Who let you out? Nagito! <laughs> it feels like it's been a long time since I was able to talk to you two like this. 
even though we haven't spoken for just a few days. Why? Why are you here? Yes, that's the question we all want to know. Well, there's no need to worry about a loser like me. <sighs> More importantly, did you hear? Apparently, my hero got killed this time. Jeez, how horrible. She was the heart of our group, always spirited and very eager to talk. For her to be killed, if only I could have taken her place, I would have gladly done it. Amazing! But still, you guys will be able to shine, because this outcome is full of despair, right? Ugh, he's so gross and creepy. That's right, no matter how dark the despair, hope can shine much brighter and stronger. <laughs> Though I do feel bad for Mahiru, this is quite exciting. How will everyone overcome despair this time? You and your weird hope fetish. Mm. Looks like you feel no remorse. Jeez, as usual, he's acting so crazy, he's almost pissing me off. So why are you here? Who told you about Mahiru? Now, now. You don't have to make that scary face. I'll tell you, you know. Monami. It's Monami. Yes, it was me. You. Why did you untie Nagito without anyone's permission? Um, did I do bad? Yeah, you did bad. I just wanted everyone to get along. And, you know, cooperate. There was no way we'd get along. You already know what kind of guy he is. That's but Fighting among friends is what Monokuma wants you guys to do. He's not even our friend, though. Now, now. Hajime, you should forgive her. Monami is making a valid point, too. You have no right to say that. But... But now's not the time for friends to fight. There's going to be a class trial for Mahiru, right? That's right! That's right! That's why everyone must work together and have Monokuma... Why you keep talking about Monokuma? Enough! Enough already, just go away already. <laughs> Understood. She keep talking about Monokuma and Monokuma this and it's his fault. Why you keep bringing him up? Nagito, you two, hurry up and get lost. Like, we are not in the emotional state that we need to be in to deal with this guy. Well, I'm a little lonely, but I guess I'll do that. I already saw the true ending of that game. So there's really no reason for me to be here. How'd you do that? When you had time for that? True ending? Now then. So although I might be a little late, I too will do some investigating for a while. I will try to be useful in my own way. Your own way is what gets people killed. Hmm. Who do you want to be useful to? The killer or us? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? No, it's not. I will always be on the side of hope. The more I talk to him, the creepier he gets. The more I listen to him, the more I don't understand him. If he didn't exist, this situation would be a lot easier to deal with. If he didn't exist, this situation probably wouldn't be happening. Damn it. Hey, hey. Hajime, let's just move on and start the game. Let's go. You're right. We got things to do, we got, oh. Hold on, let's check on our pet real quick. Oh. No, I didn't mean to give her a drink. There. Okay. Even if I do play this, I might just get a game over again. Before I start, I should ask Chiaki if there's a walkthrough for this game. <laughs> there's a walkthrough <laughs> online. Hey, can I ask you something? Is there a walkthrough for this game? Huh? Hmm? I feel like I'm just going to repeat the second day and fourth day again and then get a game over. So if there's a walkthrough, can you tell me about it? Well? When you get a game over, that's the walkthrough. Hmm? What do you mean? Want me to tell you? 
You want me to tell you? I'll tell you if you want. Well, yeah, please do. There's a hidden command. A hidden command? See? You should have seen it too. You know, the thing that dis was displayed on the game over screen? Is that... Down five. Are you talking about the message that says down five? Oh. That's right. Just so you know, that doesn't mean you down five drinks or something. <laughs> it means you have to press down five times. Then the hidden command is... Yep. You just have to press the down button five times when you're on the title screen. If you do that, you should be able to get to the real game. Wow. So that's the trick. Just as expected of the ultimate gamer. Nope. It doesn't have anything to do with being a gamer. This is just, you either get it or you don't. I guess I didn't get it then. In fact, Nakito got it on his own, so it looks like he managed to beat the game. Come on, give it a try. Yeah, I got it. Let's go. I don't want to play this game again. <sighs> Work fiction resemblances purely intentional. I need to press down five times on the title screen. All right, let's do this. Open the new door to Twilight Syndrome murder case. Please press down five times with your own hands. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, the screen changed. She was right. The music changed too. Yep. This is the real game. Twilight Central Murder Case is Truth Edition. I should start it up. I need to find out why this is a motive. It'll start if I press the start button, right? Now then, let's begin Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. Please press the start button with your own hands. Ugh. He opened with a specific murder case, a tragic killing that occurred within the grounds of the academy that the girls attended. Based on their understanding of the crime scene, the police ruled that the incident was the work of a pervert who snuck into the school grounds. However, there was a secret behind that incident. Even before the janitor first discovered the body, there were students who witnessed the crime itself. The students were five high school girls. They didn't want to get involved in the incident, so they tried to hide the fact that they were the first to discover it. However, tragedy befell those girls. Several days after the incident, one of the five girls, girl E, is murdered by someone. What in the world happened at this once peaceful academy? By playing the missing first day and third day, you will be able to understand that mystery. All the answers you seek are hidden in this truth edition. Will you be able to reach the truth? <sighs> now then, let's start with the first day when it all begun, began. <sighs> okay, let's, let's go. <laughs> Girl A, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry for keeping you all waiting. Geez, we're gonna go home late because we had to wait for Slowpoke Girl A. Come on, Girl B, you don't have to be that mad. Whoa. Hey, don't go taking photos without permission. People might mistake us for good friends. <laughs> I don't want people to think I like y'all. I'm not your friend. What? There's no way I'd ever be friends with a nasty, trashy pig shit like you. Oh, that girl's totally like Hiyoko. Ta-ha! <laughs> the way girl B treats people, even loan sharks looking to collect would get sick to their stomachs. Uh, is girl E here yet? Uh, apparently she forgot something. She told us to wait just a little longer. She can't find her school swimsuit. Her swimsuit, huh? Maybe it got stolen. Stolen? You don't know? A pervert has been spotted in the area recently. Kihi, <laughs> you should be careful, girl A. A chubby weakling like you makes the perfect prey. Hey, stop it. Girl A's getting really scared. <laughs> it's fun to bully girl A. What? What was that? What was that sound? It sounded like class breaking. It sounds like it came from the second floor. Let's go. 
That's glow. <laughs> glow! Oh, am I supposed to go too? Can we run? Huff, 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 puff. Girl, E, what happened? I don't know. I walked by the front of the music room just now. And then I suddenly heard the sound of glass breaking. Is someone in there? That's what I think, but I think the door is locked. I can't get it open. You're right, it's locked. Did someone lock it from the inside? Is someone really in there? Um, if we use the key from the teacher's lounge, we can open this door, right? I'll go to the teacher's lounge and get the key to the music room. The teachers are probably gone by now, so I'm sure we can bring the key over in secret. But I have a bad feeling about this. I found the key. Nobody was there, so it was super easy to get. Then let's open it right away. Creak. Okay. Girl A, you lead the way. Huh? Me? Come on, hurry, hurry. Okay, so I just go. Uh... Oh no! What happened? Someone's lying on the floor. This... she's not laying down. She's dead. Dead? That's impossible. Why? <laughs> Lower your voice. They might still be nearby. Nearby? I mean, this looks like someone murdered her. Murdered? Seriously, shut up. What's gonna happen if the killer notices us? What should we do? What should I do? What do we do? I see. So that's what happened. I found it. The killer's escape route. They jumped out the window? Escape route? Could it be? Am I supposed to go over? What am I? Okay. The fish tank's broken. Why? I can't really go anywhere. I can't. <laughs> There's no doubt the killer probably escaped from there. Okay, but how do I get over there? Okay. Ah, the window is broken. The sound we heard from the entrance hall was probably the window breaking. Someone probably locked the music room door from the inside, and after killing this girl, they broke the window and escaped outside. Looks like she got hit by something when she died, but I can't seem to find anything bloody around here. What happened to the weapon? Did the killer take it? So the killer just ran out the window? But if they just wanted to run away, they could have opened the window. Why did they have to break it? They were probably trying to leave in a hurry. Look, there's evidence. The fish tank by the window is tipped over, and all the gravel is scattered. They must have accidentally tipped it over when they were frantically trying to get away. Wait, does that have to do with our investigation? It's not too high to jump from the second floor, so maybe they thought it'd be safer than using the hallway. But is that really it? I mean, to lock the door, you'd have to either lock it from the inside, or use the lounge key. Oh, when I went to get the music room key, it was in the teacher's lounge. So the killer wouldn't have had time to return the key before they broke the window. Then, the, d the door could have been locked from the inside. That means the killer was also inside the music room. 
Also, to get outside from the music room, they'd need to have passed by us in the entrance hall. But we didn't see anyone pass by. Which means the killer's only escape route was this window. Another truth bullet. That's odd. Is, are those truth bullets for our trial? Or do we have a, sep a separate, like, truth book just for this game? It's probably that pervert I heard about. He's the one who snuck inside the school grounds. Huh? My school swimsuit was stolen. I couldn't find it anywhere. Then, the pervert who stole Girl E's school swimsuit also murdered the, that girl over there. They probably locked the music room so they could rape her, but she ended up resisting. Oh, well, that's awful. So they frantically tried to get away, broke the window, and escaped. Okay, we've got another truth bullet. Stolen school swimsuit. Isn't it bad if we stay here much longer? I mean, I don't want to get involved in something like this. And the killer might still be around, too. That's bad. Uber bad. We better hurry up and run. But don't we have to report this to the police? Don't you know what happens when you report this kind of stuff to the police? You become the prime suspect just because you found the body first. I definitely don't want that. Yeah, it'd be best if we left this room how we found it. Just lock the door and leave everything how it was. Uh, hey, please, wait. Don't leave me. You going to? Okay, so that jumps to the third day. Girl D! Sorry, did I make you wait? Y'all always late. So what's up? You want to, you asked me to meet you asked to meet me here. Don't tell me you're gonna f confess your love to me. <laughs> huh? What happened? Um, I want you to look at this photo. Whoa! What is that? On the day of the incident, I found this when I peeked into the next next door classroom as I was going home. And I couldn't help taking a picture. What do you think this broken these broken base pieces mean? The sound we heard from the entrance hall wasn't the sound of a window breaking. What is this? I don't know anything about this vase. And if that's the case, the killer didn't escape didn't escape from the window. Seriously, I don't know anything. It's okay. I made sure to throw it away. Huh? If anyone found it, you'd be in trouble, right, girl E? Are you trying to blackmail me? Of course not. That's not what this is about. If there's something you're hiding from me, I want you to say it. I mean, we're friends, right? You... You didn't say anything either. I knew, you know. I knew that girl who got killed was tormenting you. Huh? No, she wasn't just tormenting you. She was seriously making your life a living hell. That bitch was in your photography club back in middle school, right? I'm, I'm getting a little lost here. She was probably jealous of your talent, so she... I'm supposed to be your best friend. If you told me, none of this would have happened. Girl E, don't tell me you... That bitch thought she could do anything she wanted because of her family's influence. And I just couldn't stand it anymore, so did you kill her? You know, at first, I tried to talk to her. But that bitch started talking shit about how she'd target me next time, so... Oh, did you hit her in the head with a vase? I felt a sudden rage, and before I knew it, I was choking her. Oh. And then she lost consciousness. 
But things would have been worse if she woke up, so... That's why I had to do something about it. That's... Uh, it's not my fault. Or yours. It, it's kind of your fault. It's all her fault. Girl E. You murderer. That bitch. Girl E, was it? Where did she was with her on the day of the incident? Looks like she threw away- she threw something away here. What was it? What the hell is this photo? This vase is- Could it be? The sound of breaking glass was actually this? Why would you just throw the picture like in this- whatever this is. That's not even in the furnace. <laughs> if it wasn't, why did she try to secretly get rid of this? That bitch. What the hell did she do to my little sister? Oh, little sister. Okay. Looks like I need to ask her a few questions. And if that bitch really did that, I will never, I will never forgive her. Whoa, okay. Looks like this is the end. That's right. That's the truth edition. The incident's first day and third day are depicted in it. Yep. Yep, now you filled in all four events from the first day to the fourth day. Hey Chiaki, what do you think of the characters in this game? Um... You mean like girl A and girl B? Their names make no sense and they have no romantic chemistry either. Are they supposed to have romantic chemistry? No, not that. <laughs> See? While you were talking, it looks like the ending staff role started. Staff role? Perhaps. You should be able to find out what you want to know if you look at it. Probably. What I want to know is on this- How long can the staff role be besides Monokuma? Producer, Monokuma. Director, Monokuma. Supervisor, Monokuma. Plan scenario, Monokuma. Programmer, Monokuma. Graphics, Monokuma. Sound, Monokuma. Cast, Sumiki Koizu. Oh no. Wait, there's two. Whoa. So they are supposed to be our girls. And there's two Kazurus, which means Fuyu and his little sister. See? Wow. See? Didn't I tell you? What you want to know is going to be on there. Miracle! Yay! Congrats! Miracle congratulations! You have finally beaten Twilight Syndrome Murder Case! <laughs> now that you guys have played this game through to the end, you should probably already know! That's right! This game is a non-fiction game based on an actual past incident! Is that true? By the way... By the way, non-fiction means an original story based on historical facts or records. Hey, answer my question. Phew. But even if this is a non-fiction, you guys probably don't remember it. Well, that can't be helped. <laughs> the school life you no longer remember is the setting for this story. Wow. Our school life. Isn't that wonderful? At any rate, congratulations! Now then, as for the ending prize that I'm supposed to give you as a reward for clearing the game, I won't give it to ya! Ending prize? There is only one ending prize, and I already gave it to the first person who beat it! Too bad! <laughs> How disappointing! Did you say ending prize? Yeah, we can't be that, you know, upset over not getting the prize. Mm. Like, I was told the same thing when I beat it too. Aww. Man, I was too late! If I had known something like this was going to happen, I would have played the game sooner! So... The ending prize 
Is that the envelope that Fuyuhiko had? But the ending prize isn't the problem, it's what Monokuma said earlier. He mentioned how he used our school life as the setting of the game. Just as I thought, so it's connected to, this, to that this time too. But is it really? Is it really true? We were already living our school lives, and our memories were completely taken. Is something that crazy actually possible? Then what did they do to us? You... It looks like there's something on your mind. Huh. Perhaps... Monokuma probably said the same thing to everyone else who's beaten this game. That this game is non-fiction. That the missing link that existed in our forgotten school memories. So do you believe it? Do you really believe our memories were taken? I don't know, but instead of thinking about that right now, we gotta focus on solving this mystery first. Whether we believe it's the motive or not, it's clear that a murder did occur. If that's the case, then I need to question them directly. If I do that, I might be able to learn something. Um. You're talking about the people whose characters appear in this game, right? Then I'll go too. That's right, if I get some information from them, I might find out something. About the mystery behind Mahiru's death, about whether this game is true or not, and if we really had our school memories taken away. Hey, hey! Then let's hurry and ask the others. <laughs> and while you're at it, ask them how it feels to be characters in a game. <laughs> That's probably her life wish. Um, of all games, me. though, Chiaki. Also, if you want to gather your thoughts about the content of the game, talk to me anytime. I see. Thanks. That's a huge help. Guys, uh, my mind is racing right now. I don't know where they are right now, but we won't learn anything if we just stand here. Alright, let's go. Hello there. Oh my gosh. Oh, Why, hello there, Hajime and Chiaki. We meet again. The timing's too perfect. Of course, you were waiting here, weren't you? You caught me? Ah, uh, so you caught me. Wouldn't it be best if we traveled together? No. If you've beaten the game, we must think similarly, right? No. Man. No, maybe I'm being a little too conceited. A guy like me thinking similarly to you guys. It's okay, just make your point. Like, well... Hajime is so done with him. <laughs> there was an airport on the first island, right? I told them to meet up there. Them? You don't know? Why, the characters who appeared in Twilight Syndrome murder case, of course. The girls must be busy with their investigations, too. It'd be a waste of time if we both questioned them, no? Bye now. If you want to hear what they have to say, you should come with me. I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys. Well, I guess that was vaguely useful. Ugh. What should we do? Hmm, I guess the only thing we can do is go. I guess you're right. Well, that was uh, that was a bit of a roller coaster right there at the end. I uh, so just my initial thoughts. If we saw that Mahiru was the girl that died, and I'm going to guess that what happened in their previous, um, you know, school life is that Mahiru did something to Fuyu's little sister and Fuyu was the first to beat the game and he got his revenge on Mahiru. That's what I'm guessing. I don't know if I got this right, but that's just my initial thoughts. I'm a little, like, flabbergasted right now, as this game often does. What are you guys thinking? Let me know in the comments. If you like my video, give it a thumbs up for me. Subscribe if you aren't already subscribed for more Danganronpa, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey!